Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to install MySQL on Windows machine. So let's go to our Windows machine where we would like to install MySQL. And I open google.com and I type or download MySQL. And these are the links I got. The very first one I got an open source alternative download, MariaDB. That's alternative to the MySQL available if you want to uh, download that part. We have done a, a complete tutorial on MariaDB. That's pretty much the same like MySQL. Every feature is the uh, uh, same. There are there are some features like such as the uh, clustering is different. That they are using Galera cluster here. You use a different cluster in MySQL. But anyways, we are not interested in MariaDB here. We are interested uh, to download MySQL and install on Windows machine. So we'll go to this link: dev.mysql.com/backslash/downloads. Click uh, on this uh, link. And here we have different flavors or different types of MySQL server. So we have a MySQL community server, we have MySQL cluster, we have MySQL router, and there are other different such as MySQL shell, workbench, uh, and a lot of other options. We will walk through these later. We will practice these different MySQL cluster and router and all that in our next videos. So here we are interested to go to the MySQL community server and uh, you are going to go further down there and uh, you are going to select the operating system if it is already selected the uh, windows uh, then fine otherwise uh, go ahead and select microsoft windows and then uh, you are going to ignore this part and just go to the windows x86 32 64 bit mysql installer msi go to the download page okay now you go further down again and there are two downloads available we are going to go with the complete uh, or full uh, download installer that's uh, the you can see from the size of the file itself uh, if you want to go with the lighter uh, web community you can start with that one but i i will go with the full uh, installer uh, uh, download file so hit uh, download once you download uh, it's going to go ahead and uh, uh, bring you here so it will ask you begin your download and still it is waiting okay you want to log in or sign up okay i don't care about that part i'm going to go ahead and say no thanks just to start my download now it will uh, download the file i can save okay in my case uh, uh, i already have downloaded so you can see that uh, zero person install community uh, the scans are running and uh, that should be fast in my case as well open folder let's see if the file is coming there so i did a uh, uh, download earlier so but uh, for just a demo i'm i downloaded another word uh, uh, download uh, installer as well so if we will use uh, this or this these are the same software so now once uh, this uh, down uh, download is done you're going to right click on that one and then uh, hit uh, install before you will go and start installation i will recommend uh, uh, study a little bit about your uh, storage so if you have c drive d drive wherever you would like to put the data directories uh, and database files uh, wherever you would like to put the log information such as error logs low query and all that so uh, if you would know different folders you want to keep them logging on different uh, um, uh, direct, uh, disk and you would like to keep the data directory or the data files on different uh, you can always create those folders in advance that is okay i'm gonna go with the d default for now so we don't have a whole lot uh, here i have uh, on this pc i have a c drive that's what i'm going to use and our installation default is going to go there okay so now read the agreement <laughs> i don't think so i'm going to read this one as well so i'm just going to go uh, all the way and accept the terms and hit the next now here you have a lot more details or choices so you have a developer default that's pretty much everything that we have seen on that download part you can see that you have mysql server you have mysql router you have shell you have workbench and whatnot so you have a lot of items here we will perform demos on all these components later in the uh, tutorial okay here you have server only if you would like to install only server and uh, to be honest with you if uh, i am uh, 
uh, a DBA, then I would not go develop a default. I will not install the software that my, my company doesn't need that uh, or I will not put extra burden on my server. So I will only install a server and even uh, the IDE such as Workbench, I will not install on this machine. Um, I will install on uh, another machine and only connect to this server. So I will uh, limit as many as software installation on this server. Just I will keep this server for uh, MySQL server. So uh, all the databases can run smooth and uh, have a lot of uh, CPU and memory to run it instead of uh, uh, even uh, you see this uh, Internet Explorer and all that in real time uh, you are not going to have that uh, enabled on your servers and you will not download uh, directly okay so server only then you have client only and then you have full that's again again tells you like you have pretty much a mysql server shell a router a workbench and everything and then you can custom you can select what you would like to select uh, or what you would like to ignore i'm gonna go and uh, do the best practices and install server only for now okay that's our server 8.0.13 that's the version and we have product mysql server ready to download execute it shouldn't take long time I am very happy about that one if you have seen my videos on uh, installing a SQL server Microsoft product uh, that take whole lot of time to install that uh, but uh, here you can see that is uh, uh, just uh, in seconds uh, so installation is completed let's go to next okay are we ready to configure yes Okay, stand alone uh, MySQL server, classic MySQL replication. As uh, I'm, uh, this server is going to be stand alone, so I'm going to select this uh, option. If you are uh, thinking uh, to make this server as a part of a uh, clustering, then uh, we will select sandbox in a DB cluster setup for testing only. Okay, so as you see that uh, this is about the cluster, we will do a, uh, other video on that one, how to install cluster and everything. But here we are going to go ahead and only have standalone MySQL server. Hit next okay now you have option uh, like what type of configuration type is like okay you want it this one as a development computer you want it as a, a server computer you want it as a dedicated so if you read that uh, it tells you this is a development computer and may offer application will be may other application will be also installed on it a minimum amount of memory will be used by uh, my, my sql so that's not really i recommend i mean we will be using dedicated server you know where we will be running maria uh, my sql on this server and the rest of the application would be going to the other but there's your choice we can select a, a development computer here or dedicated computer here let's go with dedicated right now and uh, now the port is going to be 3306 uh, and x protocol port is the 33060 uh, that's what the ports are going to be used and uh, okay open windows firewall port for the network access yes so i can access this uh, server rest of the settings will stay as it is and uh, hit the next use strong password encryption for authentication yes okay i would like to use some uh, password and, uh, and that's what i'm going to select uh, use a legacy authentication method i'm not doing it i'm uh, using the latest uh, version 8.0 and i'm going to go with the strong password policy hit next and here you will be providing the root password so let's provide the root password so in our case okay Now, our password is weak, so <laughs> I just provide DBA123 just for our case. Uh, so we, when we do the demos and all that, it will not take a whole lot of time. Now, uh, in your case, you are going to provide a really strong password for your root user. MySQL user account. If you would like to create a, a user here now that you would use for developers, use for maybe junior DBAs or even for yourself as a DBA, you can hit add and then provide the username. You will provide the IP from which it will connect or will it will connect from anywhere. And then you will provide different roles in a, let's say, let me go ahead and create it actually so dba and uh, here i'm going to go ahead and just provide percent so it means uh, 
this dba user can connect uh, from any host uh, so and uh, it will have a uh, db admin permissions uh, the, uh, to be honest with you when we created these users uh, we provide some specific ips of a machine so first of all people has to connect to that machine and then use this uh, uh, user to connect to the uh, mysql so but uh, by providing percentage it means the people can uh, connect to any server on the network and then can access uh, uh, the mysql by using the uh, your user okay fine uh, again i'm gonna go with the same password so dba123 hit okay and hit next okay your service name um, the windows service name will be mysql80 okay that's good standard system accounts fine uh, if you want to use custom account uh, uh, for your service you can uh, do that uh, most of the time what we do we ask for windows service accounts uh, before even we start installation and then we use that service account uh, to install uh, mysql or even a uh, uh, sql server why because service accounts uh, the password doesn't expire you know most of the time if you have done with your accounts uh, or uh, with the other uh, lo local uh, maybe account or networking and uh, services then uh, you have issues later on so i recommend using a custom user so uh, create a service account before even uh, you will install it and then use that service account and uh, that will uh, follow the service account policies okay hit next all good here uh, logs so let's see what we have here okay that, that's when we are going to run these uh, items uh, it will create some logs there so it is uh, configuring writing configuration file updating windows firewall adjusting windows service initializing databases so if you will go back uh, to your c drive now uh, and uh, here you have a uh, program files in the program file uh, my sql folder is created uh, and you can see that my sql uh, server uh, that's uh, where these all the items are going and uh, it is uh, taken some time okay done uh, everything is great now everything looks good we configuration completed hit next and installation completed copy log to clipboard if we would like to keep uh, some time uh, uh, the logs uh, for our reference you know you can always uh, copy and paste uh, and uh, then uh, you can have it like okay what were the configuration you selected or what were um, uh, different uh, items or um, uh, options you have selected while you are installing uh, mysql so as the dba is working in real time we always keep the logs uh, so what we have done and if uh, something goes wrong later on we would know that or uh, what uh, I what uh, items or what uh, options were selected while we install this um, mysql or uh, um, whatever the databases we have select uh, installed i'm gonna just uh, uh, hit finish now okay we are all done our if we go to go to services in windows so services we should find a service hit anywhere and hit m and you will see a service called mysql ad so it is running right now so it means our uh, mysql database is up and running so mysql server is up and running okay now how we connect to that one okay so here if you see that uh, we have a uh, program files mysql mysql uh, server 8.0 then we have bin here we have a mysql that's the program we can use or application we can use to connect to the uh, our mysql server so this is client okay fine and uh, i would like to take you guys Okay, let's go to the command line and just make sure everything is working. I'm going to do CD and paste that path. Okay, once we are in the bin, we can say mysql u root p. And now we provide the password that we have provided our for our root. So if you notice here, so we always say mysql right here 
and then we say dash u that means the provide the user right next to it dash p and we didn't provide the password we could have provided the password right here but uh, i just left it so when we hit enter it asks you for the password so mysql we are in mysql now so show databases and you can see that uh, we have information schema uh, mysql performance schema and sys uh, databases right there so if you want to create a database create database uh, and uh, tech brothers okay one row affected show databases again and uh, you can see that uh, tech brothers database is created so this is how you will uh, see uh, your uh, uh, MySQL will be installed. One of the other thing I would like to do program data. Okay, so you will go to C program data and there uh, another directory will be created the MySQL and here you will see the MySQL 8.0 and now here you will see the data uh, folder and that's where your database files are being created so where c program data mysql and uh, then mysql server whatever the version you have then uh, you will see the data folder there so that's where your uh, all the data files are created so you can see that uh, you have a uh, uh, right here we just created a tech browser uh, database and it is uh, created there once you will start creating the tables uh, then the tables will be created uh, under tech brothers uh, okay so now if you go to mysql you will see the information right there and uh, other uh, parts uh, such as if you would like to see some logs and all that tech browser it you click here and you see that uh, all those logs like service started or uh, you know uh, you have connected port uh, 36 uh, 3306 uh, and all those kind of things you can see from there i hope uh, this video will help in the next uh, video what i'm going to do uh, right here we are working with the client uh, and that's a command command line client uh, and the uh, next video i will uh, install workbenches and we will connect to the mysql and there we will see more visual uh, interface uh, to work with our database uh, thanks very much for watching this video and uh, uh, i hope you like it if you like it uh, subscribe it uh, thanks